Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. My name is Milandeep Bassi and I study computer science at Royal Holloway, University of London. In today's video, I'll be looking at what I did in my first year of my degree and I'll be sharing a summary of how it works at Royal Holloway just so you can get a feel of what I went through and what you might be going through at your particular university. So at Royal Holloway, you get given eight modules for your first year. I studied OOP2 and OOP1, which stands for Object Oriented Programming. I learned about machine fundamentals, mathematical structures and software design, alongside a module called Internet Services. I also did two modules called Robotics and Games. However, I believe these modules may have been changed now and they're classed as something else, but I haven't looked into it too much. The course is structured with four modules in each term. So the first term being from October till December and the second term being from January all the way till the end of March. My exams came really quick when I was studying in my first year. It was in the first week of May. But by the second week of May, I was basically on my holidays already. And those holidays lasted until the first week of October in the following uh, academic year. Just shows how much 9.25k goes at university, I guess. Um, well, the OOP module is something that's really engaging and despite seeming long at the time, it provided me with a lot of skills I needed to code. So it really has made me the coder I am today. So OOP is basically just learning how objects work and coding with them in a Java environment. Machine fundamentals and mathematical structures, I don't remember too much about outside the tree diagrams and the circuit building. Uh, but the one thing I would say from my time last year, it was... If it wasn't a practical activity, I don't really recall it too much. But the fact is, at university, you get thrown a lot of content. And when you get given that content, a lot of the time you take it in, you learn the skills you need to pass the questions, and you forget by the next time. But the thing I always take from that is, if I can do it once in an academic environment, if I'm required to do that again at university, I am more than capable of repeating those tasks and if I need them in a work environment I'm always able to google them and manipulate the information I find to basically use at work is the best way of describing it. So on that basis what what else did I study? So I did a module called software design as I mentioned so what software design is is looking at the principles of uh, product development you know engineering so that covers methodologies such as the waterfall model, you know, a brief look at agile development methods, scrum, and we built on some other things such as user stories, acceptance criteria, and what these are are skills I actually use every day when I'm working in London, which I'll be covering in another video of what it's like to study at Royal Holloway and work at the same time. But these modules I think are amazing from a perspective of a second year student. When I, when I was at the time, obviously I was getting into uni and I didn't maybe rate them as much as the best way of describing it. But now that I look back at it and I really think that these modules have helped me become who I want to be. The next module I also studied was internet services. So what that is, is as simple as it sounds, is a introduction into networking. So the way that worked was we learned about the OSI model, you know, TCP, IP, how that works, how packets are sent, and just generally a brief overview of how the internet works. And the good thing of that is I can use those skills every now and then when I'm working maybe with my router, if I need to ch change some stuff, or if I want just a deeper understanding of why something might be working like it is on the internet, if I want to send some packets you know, I use these skills that I learned in the first year, in the second year. So a lot of people do say first year doesn't count. I mean, mine didn't. I got a first regardless, but what it did give me was a good platform for second year. So I definitely think if you are one of those students who thinks I'll just DOS through first year, please reconsider, because um, I'm sure in second year you will regret it uh, in the nicest way of saying it. But that's basically the key modules I learned at Royal Holloway. And speaking with some of my friends who go to Swansea University or Loughborough University, um, the content that they learn is very similar. They might not have explored as many languages or they might have gone in a different way in one of the modules. 
but the general principles that you learn at university in the UK does seem to be the same. So if you're looking forward to studying computer science at Royal Holloway or any other university in the, uh, the UK, please feel free to share in the comments below. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me on YouTube or on my website, which is on display here, millandeepbassy.co.uk. If you have any other questions regarding Python or anything or any programming related videos, feel free to ask about them. I'm really open to helping everyone out. And that's what the whole point of this YouTube channel is to help others who are going through this tough period, which I have gone through myself and I was alone. And I really want to be there to provide that support for you guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are enjoying all the other content. And if you aren't, you should go check it out because I'm sure it's great from what I've been told. So thanks guys and I'll see you next time.